So what exactly is typical Roman food? You're going to find out in just a moment. Ciao a tutti, benvenuti sul mio canale e a Campo dei Fiori. Hey everyone, what's up? I'm David, welcome to my channel and welcome to Campo dei Fiori. My channel is dedicated to Italy. And what I do is give practical tips to anybody who's coming here on vacation. I will eventually be doing videos about living here. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. That'd be great. Make sure you subscribe and new videos come out every Saturday. All right, so the first category that, that I want to talk about is the pasta. That's everybody's favorite. The number one dish that you must try when you come here is amatriciana. That's probably one of my favorites. The next one, and it's also very famous, is called the carbonara. This is made with eggs, guanciale, which I believe is translated as cheek lard, uh, oil and cheese. I eat this in moderation because if you do, it can make you fat. The third type that you should try is called cacio e pepe. And quite simply, this is pasta made with the cacio cheese and also pepper. The fourth one is called pasta alla gricia. This is very similar to the carbonara, but it's made without eggs. The next category are the secondi. By the way, here in Italy, when you want to order a pasta dish, it's called uh, un primo or i primi. And the other category is i secondi, which could be either a meat or a fish dish. The first one that I want to mention is called coda alla vaccinara. And quite simply, this is oxtail. It doesn't sound very appetizing, but believe me, it is. The next one is something that I don't eat, but maybe maybe somebody might like it. It's called tripa alla romana, which in English would be tripe, trip. Uh, I've never learned the pronunciation, but, but pretty much um, it's tripe. The last two that I want to mention are uh, bacchio scutadito. I've mentioned this in a previous video, and it's one of my favorite dishes here in Rome. And quite simply, it's lamb, and quite often it's served with uh, potatoes, and if it isn't, it should be. And the last one in the, the secondi category is filetti di baccalà. And bacala is fish for anybody who doesn't know. It's pretty good here. Oh, before I forget, one of my absolute favorite uh, secondi dishes here is called porchetta. And as you can hear in the name, it's a type of pork. And very often you can get that as street food. You can have that as a sandwich. The next category are vegetables, which is not really a favorite of mine. Uh, one interesting fact that I want to mention is that Roman cuisine, there's a strong connection between uh, that and old Jewish cuisine. And one example that I can give you is something called uh, carciofo alla Giudia. And quite simply, this is a art an artichoke and it's fried. There are two types of, of artichoke dishes. There's the one that I just mentioned, and then there's also carciofo alla romana, which is not fried, and it's also cooked with onions. The next category that I want to talk about are the desserts. In my opinion, uh, the desserts here in Rome are not as good as the ones in Naples or in Sicily, but there are a few Roman um, sweets that you can try that you might like. The first one that I want to show is called crostate di disciole, and pretty much this is a tart cake with sour cherries. Well, today is November 1st, and I imagine that they made these desserts here for Halloween. I don't know if I would actually eat them. The other dessert that, that I want to mention is called Maritozzo. It's probably the most famous dessert here in Rome, and it's very simple. All it is is a sweet bun, and inside they put whipped cream. Simple, but good. The last category is street food, and here in Rome you can find plenty of it. But there are two particular things that I want to talk about. The first one is pizza al taglio. And in essence, this is pizza. And when you walk into a pizza shop, what they do is they take the knife and you indicate how much you want. And you can get this pizza in many different forms, uh, toppings rather. Yeah, you can get it with prosciutto, you can get, you get it with potatoes, you can get it with alici, which are anchovies, and fior di zucca. The other one is called supli, and in essence, this is a rice oval, so to speak. And inside you have rice, you have a tomato sauce, and in the center you have mozzarella. And here in Rome they have something called supli al telefono, and the reason why they call it that is because when you open it up, the mozzarella, uh, it stretches out and it looks like a phone cord.
Well, for this week's expression, I thought that I would give you something that you can use when you go to a restaurant and if you have a good experience, then you're probably going to want to tell them the food was delicious and we're definitely coming back. A professional would say, Il cibo ci è piaciuto molto. Torneremo. È tutto. That's going to do it for this episode and I really hope you liked it and I hope you got some good ideas for when you come here to Rome. I hope you're hungry too. Uh, if you did like this video today, please give me a thumbs up. That would make me very happy. Also, um, consider subscribing and also hit the bell because when you do these two things, then you won't miss my videos and they come out every single Saturday.